the promotion of obesity towards women is truly out of control. We got some reminders we need to get through, okay? Number one, being fat is normal and cute. Yeah, those are synonymous, okay? Normal and cute. Okay, being fat is cool. So intentional weight loss, so you purposely saying, I want to lose 20 pounds, is fat phobic. It's fat phobic, sorry. Is losing weight for your health fat phobic? When I've had health issues, the first things I've been told is to lose weight. Losing weight does nothing for your health. Losing weight does nothing for your health. Does nothing for your health. If I were to tell someone to improve their health, I would tell them to exercise more, to eat more nutritiously, and to lower their stress levels. But the weight loss is a byproduct of those things. Weight loss should not be the focus of your health journey. You know why being overweight is one of the smartest things you could do? Just imagine a zombie apocalypse and there's no food left. Overweight people keep all the food in their belly. Therefore, they would live longer than people who aren't overweight. <laughs> um, I'm 99% sure. Don't take my, my word for it. But I'm 99% sure that's not how food fat storage works in your body. If promoting obesity is what it takes to make other fat people feel hot, obviously I'm going to do that. So yes, I am promoting obesity. Stay mad. Th Stay mad, haters. Stay mad. Obviously, I'm promoting obesity. What? Thank you so much. I'm Allie, better known for Al Weezy, and I'm your certified bad bitch. Ah, uh, yes, huh? because obese women, this is an certified obese bad. trans woman, are the definition of a certified bad bitch. What does that mean? Can you explain that? It's just a lifestyle. Like, it's, I mean, if you get it, you get it. The rules are there. I mean, I feel like every girl can, every woman can be a certified baddie. It's just the mindset and it's a full time job. Scale of one to 10. So let's do that. A fat fuck then. This has become so normalized and so common that it's actually spilling into other areas of culture and influencer content creator lifestyle. This young woman has an account entirely dedicated to what she eats in a day as a fatty. I eat in a day as a fat bitch. Let's go. Okay, this is my Starbucks order. My mom bought it for me because I'm broke and depressed. I also had a bagel, cream cheese, and salami. The bagel's not toasted. The bagel's a cream cheese vehicle. I don't know what you want me to tell you. The shit's delicious. Eat it. The bagel is a cream cheese vehicle. Damn, I recorded a lot of that shit today. Okay. Um, I didn't record lunch because I'm a disappointment, but this is in fact spaghetti, but I ran out of Parmesan, so there is indeed sharp cheddar cheese on it. There are other fat food influencers. For breakfast, I had a double cheeseburger. Here's how many calories that they say it has, but I- 1300 calorie double cheeseburger. I don't freaking believe them. I had maybe a gallon of ketchup. I'm not even, okay, hey, I'm lying. Um, I had some fries, a diet Pepsi. Um, I'm watching my figure, so I didn't eat it all. Not only is this in the realm of food influencers now, but travel influencers too. This account is dedicated to showing you which rides will or will not discriminate against you, whether or not you will fit in the roller coaster harness. Hey everyone, we're Plus Size Park Hoppers and we range in sizes from 2X to 5X. Make sure you like this video and follow us from our Plus Size Tips and Tricks. On this ride, you enter through the castle gates and down the familiar passageways and corridors of Hogwarts. We highly recommend trying the test seats in the front of the ride. The ride vehicle consists of one row with several seats. The seats are molded, which can be uncomfortable if you have larger hips or thighs. The safety mechanism for this ride is a chest restraint. Katie in the blue skirt wears a size 3X top and 22 pants. And her hips are 65 inches. The team member was nice enough to help us with the test seat but unfortunately even with some pushing katie was not able to get the green light for this ride mine that looks so uncomfortable does it not i wear a size 2x top and size 20 pants and my hips are 60 inches with some help from the team member i was able to get the green light on this test seat it definitely wasn't the most comfortable seat ever but it wasn't the least comfortable at universal either i have been on this ride before and it was pretty cool especially if you're a harry potter fan one thing to keep in mind is that there is a moving walkway to get into the ride vehicle so you will have to situate yourself while the ride is moving there is a non-moving transfer station as well if you do have trouble with moving walkways this ride is very similar to Soren 
foreign at Disney World in the way that you're looking at a screen while in a moving vehicle. If that's something that would give you motion sickness, this ride might not be for you. We hope that these tips help and that you enjoy your forbidden journey. That's comfortable. Women now today in the United States are twice as likely to be overweight or obese than men are. Maybe it's stupid and silly. You, no matter who you are, what the number on the scale looks like, what you look like, what size of clothes you wear, you are beautiful in your own skin. But even though our bodies look different and you are beautiful in your own skin, that does not mean you are perfect just the way you are. 